There's a saying that goes, if you want something, pursue it to the end and never give up. This perspective, while popular and easily understood, carries with it an invisible pressure we place on ourselves. The philosophy of Stoicism, an ancient ideology, teaches us a different viewpoint. Not everything in life needs to be forced or controlled. Consider the times you've tried to control every aspect of your life to achieve a specific outcome. You may have invested all your energy into a job or relationship, only to realize that the more you pushed, the more chaotic and uncontrollable things became. These experiences can drain you physically and lead to feelings of insecurity and disappointment. This doesn't reflect your worth or abilities. Often, it's because we're trying to force life to fit our expectations, forgetting that life flows naturally like a stream. Living without trying to control everything is challenging, especially in a world that constantly sets standards for success and happiness. However, by embracing stoic principles, you'll find that life feels lighter and more meaningful when you let go of the need to control everything. I will share 10 methods to help you live a more meaningful and peaceful life. These techniques are designed to reduce stress and anxiety while helping you find joy and fulfillment in everyday moments. Before we dive into the video, I have a challenge for you. Watch it all the way to the end without skipping anything. After a week, return and share the changes you've experienced in your life. Please leave a comment with Go With The Flow to show that you accept the challenge and are eager to explore the wisdom of Stoic philosophy. Your journey of self-discovery begins now. Number one, live fully in the present. Live fully in the present. In Stoic philosophy, this is a key principle that leads to peace and happiness. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic philosopher, advised, do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you while you live, while it is in your power, be good. This quote highlights that our time is limited and valuable and only the present moment is truly ours. To live fully in the present means to concentrate on what is happening right now, experiencing each moment deeply. This practice can reduce stress and anxiety about the future and help you appreciate the simple joys of life. For example, picture yourself sitting under an ancient tree, listening to birds singing and feeling a gentle breeze. You can fully enjoy that moment without worrying about unfinished tasks or future plans. Have you ever sat next to someone you care about and realized that your mind was elsewhere, causing you to miss the special moment? Consider how often you have overlooked simple pleasures because you were distracted. By focusing on the present, we can enhance our own experiences and spread joy to those around us. To fully engage with the moment, ask yourself, what is happening right now and how can I make the most of it? Reflecting on these questions can help you stay grounded, minimize distractions, and deepen your connection to your surroundings. Make it a habit to practice this daily, whether you are eating, working, or just breathing. Being mindful of each small action will help you recognize the significance of every moment. Start by dedicating a few minutes each day to meditation, allowing your mind to settle and reconnect with yourself. Release your worries and pressures and savor each moment as it comes. Number two, understand the impermanence of life. Life is always changing and change is the only constant. As the philosopher Heraclitus said, no man ever steps in the same river twice for it's not the same river, and he's not the same man. This highlights the ongoing transformation of everything around us. In our daily lives, we often seek stability and wish for things to stay the same. However, can we truly resist the natural flow of time and change? Impermanence is not just a philosophical idea, it is a fundamental aspect of life, 
Consider the times you've tried to hold on to a positive feeling or avoid a negative one. Have you noticed that all emotions, whether happiness or sadness, eventually fade? Recognizing this can help us appreciate the present and prevent us from being overwhelmed by anxiety or disappointment. A clear example of life's impermanence is the changing seasons. Spring brings new beginnings. Summer is vibrant and energetic. Autumn is calm and beautiful. And winter is cold but sets the stage for spring's return. Our lives also follow similar cycles. Change is a constant and it adds balance and richness to our experiences. By understanding and accepting impermanence, we can become more patient and resilient. When we encounter challenges instead of panicking, we can remind ourselves, this is just a part of the journey and it will pass. This mindset allows us to focus on what we can control and do our best. Impermanence also teaches us to appreciate what we have. Recognizing that everything can change helps us value even the smallest aspects of our daily lives. We can ask ourselves, what am I grateful for today? The key question is, how can we embrace and live peacefully with this impermanence? One approach suggested by Stoic philosophy is the practice of acceptance. When we accept that everything happens for a reason and that we cannot control everything, we will feel more relieved and at peace. Let's move on to the next lesson to understand this better. Number three, the power of acceptance. Acceptance is not just about giving in or surrendering, it involves the inner strength to approach every situation with calmness and clarity. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, we cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. This highlights the true power of acceptance. Consider a challenging time in your life, such as losing a job, experiencing a breakup, or dealing with a serious illness. Initially, our instinct may be to resist, deny, or try to change the situation. But have you ever thought, what if I stopped resisting and began to accept? Acceptance is not about giving up. It involves recognizing the situation and figuring out a smarter way to deal with it. It doesn't mean abandoning your dreams or stopping your efforts. In fact, acceptance allows us to understand what is truly important and adjust our goals accordingly. For example, if a job opportunity doesn't work out, Instead of feeling let down, accept it as a normal part of your journey and keep looking for other chances. Acceptance helps us become more adaptable and strong when faced with life's changes. It provides inner calm by releasing us from the chaos of negative emotions like anger, anxiety or fear. Have you ever thought about what might happen if you chose to accept everything as it is without attempting to change or control it? Would you discover a greater sense of ease and peace within yourself? Acceptance does not signify weakness. Instead, it empowers us to confront challenges with calmness and confidence. It is an active decision that allows us to live more fully and peacefully. By embracing acceptance, we align ourselves with a natural flow of life. Facing difficulties, without being caught up in feelings of dissatisfaction and stress. Challenge yourself, and you will realize how acceptance can genuinely change your life for the better. Number four, learn to let go. Learning to let go is a fundamental principle of Stoic philosophy, which encourages us to live peacefully and find contentment in life. Letting go does not mean surrendering or being passive, Rather, it involves recognizing and accepting that some things are out of our control. Think of it like holding a hot stone. If you continue to grip it tightly, you will get burned. However, if you release it, you will feel relief and comfort. Life is much the same. We must learn to release our pains and difficulties to achieve inner peace. Have you ever thought about why you cling to feelings of sadness, anger, and disappointment. 
These negative emotions can harm you and keep you from enjoying a happy and meaningful life. Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. By releasing unnecessary emotional burdens, we can lighten our minds and feel more liberated. This doesn't mean abandoning everything. Instead, it involves being discerning and holding on to what truly matters. Letting go can be a way to refresh our spirits, similar to cleaning a room. Removing items that no longer benefit us allows the space to feel open and bright. Letting go can be beneficial in many areas of life. You can release toxic relationships, unrealistic expectations, and worries about the future. It's also important to let go of past mistakes and practice self-forgiveness. Consider what is holding you back from a happy and meaningful life. What can you release to make space for better things? Although learning to let go can be challenging, it ultimately brings true freedom and peace. Remember, letting go doesn't mean giving up. It's about accepting and valuing what you have. Do you agree with this viewpoint? If so, please like the video. If not, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments so we can discuss it. Now, let's move on to lesson number five. Number five, practice mindfulness. Mindfulness involves being aware of your surroundings and your own emotions and thoughts without passing judgment. This practice allows you to fully engage with the present moment helping to reduce stress and anxiety, and ultimately leading to greater peace and satisfaction in life. While mindfulness is often associated with meditation, it is more accurately described as a lifestyle. Consider your mind as a lake. When filled with thoughts and worries, it becomes turbulent, like waves crashing on the surface. In contrast, Practicing mindfulness can make your mind as calm and clear as a lake at dawn, reflecting everything accurately without distortion. A simple way to practice mindfulness is by focusing on your breath. Pay attention to your breathing. Notice when you inhale and when you exhale. This practice can help you stay grounded in the present moment, reduce stress, and enhance your connection with yourself. Mindfulness increases your awareness of your thoughts and feelings, which helps you avoid being overwhelmed by them. For instance, if you feel anger, pause before reacting. Instead, take a moment to reflect on your feelings. Ask yourself, why am I feeling angry? What triggered this anger? This reflection can help you recognize and manage your anger, allowing you to regain control over your emotions. Mindfulness is also a powerful tool to cultivate gratitude and positivity in life. When you are mindful of the small joys, such as the scent of flowers or the warmth of the sun, you will find life more meaningful and beautiful. In what ways can you apply mindfulness to your daily life? Start with small actions, such as focusing on your breath, paying attention to your surroundings, and taking time to appreciate the present moment. You'll see that life becomes more peaceful and fulfilling. Number six, focus on what you can control. One key principle of Stoicism is to concentrate on what you can control and to release what you cannot. Epictetus stated, there are things that we can influence, and there are things that we cannot. By focusing on what is within our control, we take charge of our lives and do not allow external factors to overwhelm us. Take a moment to consider how much energy you've wasted worrying about things beyond your control, like what others think, the state of the economy, or the weather. These concerns drain your time and energy and can leave you feeling helpless. Instead, try to concentrate on what you can control, your thoughts, actions, and attitudes. This change in focus can make you feel more empowered and at peace. For instance, if you're stuck in traffic rather than getting frustrated, think about what you can do, like listening to an audiobook or practicing deep breathing to stay calm. 
This shift in perspective can help you approach life with greater ease and confidence. Ask yourself, what can I control in this situation and how can I make the best of it? By doing so, you will reduce unnecessary stress and make better decisions. This is the essence of the stoic mindset, focusing on what you can control and letting go of the rest. Practice this daily and you'll find that life becomes more manageable and less stressful. Are you ready to take control of your life? Number seven, embrace challenges as opportunities. Life presents many challenges, but rather than viewing them as obstacles, Stoicism encourages us to see them as chances for personal growth. Marcus Aurelius wisely noted, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote serves as a reminder that each challenge we encounter provides us with an opportunity to cultivate inner strength and wisdom. Think about a time when you faced a difficult situation. Perhaps it was a personal or professional challenge that pushed you to your limits. While it may have been tough at the time, looking back, you might realize that it helped you grow and become stronger. Challenges are not meant to break us, but to mold us into better versions of ourselves. Embracing challenges with a positive attitude will not only help you overcome them, but also turn them into valuable life lessons. The next time you encounter a challenge, instead of complaining or feeling discouraged, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can this situation help me grow? This mindset will help you turn obstacles into opportunities for success and happiness. Remember, it's not the challenges that define us, but how we respond to them. Are you ready to face life's challenges and use them for your growth? Number eight, cultivate inner peace. Inner peace is not something we find outside of ourselves. It's a state of mind that we can cultivate through practice and self-awareness. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true peace comes from within, not from external circumstances. Seneca once said, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This quote highlights the importance of finding peace in the present moment, regardless of what's happening around us. Cultivating inner peace starts with understanding that our thoughts and emotions are within our control. When we let go of the need to control everything and focus on what truly matters, we create a space of calm and tranquility within ourselves. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or avoiding responsibilities, but rather approaching life with a balanced and centered mindset. To achieve inner peace, consider practicing mindfulness and meditation. Spending just a few minutes each day to calm your mind and connect with yourself can greatly enhance your well-being. Reflect on what brings you peace and think about how to include more of it in your daily life. This could involve activities like spending time in nature, doing yoga, or enjoying a quiet cup of tea. Discover what resonates with you and incorporate it into your routine regularly. Remember, inner peace is a journey, not a destination, and it's something we can nurture every day. Are you ready to pursue inner peace and lead a more balanced and fulfilling life? Number nine, practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool that can transform our lives by shifting our focus from what we lack to what we have. Stoic philosophy teaches us to appreciate the simple things in life and to be grateful for what we have rather than constantly striving for more. Marcus Aurelius once wrote, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Practicing gratitude helps us cultivate positive thoughts and emotions, leading to a happier and more fulfilling life. Gratitude is not just about saying thank you, it's about recognizing the blessings in our lives, no matter how small. It's about appreciating the present moment and the people around us. 
When we practice gratitude, we open our hearts to the abundance of life and attract more positivity into our lives. A great way to practice gratitude is by keeping a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you appreciate, whether they are big, like a beautiful sunset, or small, like a kind gesture from a friend. Over time, you'll notice a change in your mindset and start to view the world more positively. Ask yourself, what am I grateful for today? By concentrating on the good in your life. You'll attract more positivity and create a joyful cycle. Gratitude isn't just a feeling, it's a lifestyle. Are you ready to embrace gratitude and change your life? Number 10. Reflect on your progress. Reflection is an essential part of personal growth and self-improvement. Stoic philosophy encourages us to regularly reflect on our thoughts, actions and progress to ensure we are living in alignment with our values and goals. Seneca once said, as is a tale, so is life, not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Reflection helps us evaluate the quality of our lives and make necessary adjustments to live more fully and intentionally. Set aside some time each day or week to think about your progress. Consider questions like, what have I learned? How have I improved? What areas need work? Reflecting helps us acknowledge our successes, learn from our errors, and remain focused on our goals. It's a chance to evaluate where we are and ensure we are moving in the right direction. Reflection is not about dwelling on the past, but about gaining insight and clarity for the future. By regularly reflecting on your life, you will develop a deeper understanding of yourself and your purpose. You will also become more mindful and intentional in your actions, leading to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Are you ready to reflect on your progress and take the next step in your journey of self-discovery?